Hi, welcome to Yovi's Home. I post new videos every Tuesday and Thursday. Today, we are going to be having a bit of a fun time with the Dutch language because I'm going to be sharing with you five totally normal Dutch words that are deliciously naughty in English. So if that sounds good to you, then come on in, kick off your shoes and stay a while. I'm really glad you're here. Well, before we get into the five words, uh, if you're new here, if if you're new to Yovi's home and you haven't already, please click that red subscribe button. It means a lot to me. And then you're going to be notified of any fun videos that I might post. And as a bonus, it's gratis to subscribe. So please go ahead and click that free red button and subscribe to my channel. Um, and if you like this video, then go ahead and give it a thumbs up when you finished watching it uh, so that maybe it will be recommended to some other people. Now, without any further talking, let's get into the five words that are deliciously funny in English. The first word is um, the way that you would describe somebody who is a cook or a chef, and that word in Dutch is kok. <laughs> yeah, so basically you would give your compliments to the kok if, uh, if, you, if you were here and you were using this Dutch word. So totally normal, but very fun as an outsider to, um, to hear this word and think of it. Um, I just had this funny image of, you know, in the kitchen. <laughs> Am I a child? I feel like I'm a child in this video. I might be, I might be exhibiting my childish behavior. So I'm sorry. Okay. Number two. Number two is also something that you just hear totally normal. But if you're a foreigner or if maybe if you're a tourist and you hear this on the street, you're going to be like, Whoa. Okay, you know, but, um, and that is like, ya whore. <laughs> Which means like, yes, sure. <laughs> Sorry. I can't, I can't do this video without laughing, which is better, you know, better than, uh, the previous video when I did when I was just crying, but, um, no. So ya whore means yeah, sure. Um, but it sounds very funny if, if you don't know that. Okay, now the next thing, um, maybe it won't be funny if you're Dutch um, because you might not know this slang in English, um, but peen is slang for uh, penis and, okay. <laughs> oh, when I was grocery shopping, um, the first few times, but I mean, okay, it still makes me giggle when I'm, when I'm there now. So if you see me <laughs> giggling in the store, it's probably because I'm standing in front of the, the carrots. But in the winter time here, there's like a specific, um, I don't know, like type of a carrot and they're called winter peen. Um, in general, carrot are peen, but <laughs> the winter peen in particular made me giggle because winter peen are like these very <laughs> Are you giggling along with me? Is it just me? Am I just having like a super fun time all by myself in this room? I, I hope you're also giggling um, with me. But okay, so winter peen. <laughs> okay. Whew. Get it together, girl. I got this. I got this. Okay. Oh, winter peen are a very thick carrot that is available in the winter time here. And yeah, apparently the, the, they're very funny, but every time I see like winter peen on sale, I just, the visuals that I get are just, well, you can see, you can see, you can see that I am a child giggling away at these silly words. Okay. The next two. No, you know what? Let's, <laughs> I want to keep you guys watching here, but so there's one, I want, it's a visual one. And this is an ad that just um, that I saw when I first became a mom. So this is not a word, it's an ad, an advertisement. Basically, it's this little boy or girl, it's a child, and they're saying this, mom, this, because it's an advertisement like saying that the children prefer this type of formula, like this brand of formula. But in Dutch, um, D, D-I-E, it's like 
die in English. So there was an advertisement for a long time and it was everywhere, all over the Netherlands. I was like, die, mama, die. And <laughs> it was just, I mean, glad, I'm glad that I knew what D meant. Like I, I, I could get like the meaning of the ad, but I was just thinking, what about all the tourists? Like all the people who are here that don't have any knowledge of Dutch at all. And so they're seeing these ads like die, mama, die. And they're probably like, what the heck is this advertisement for? <laughs> like, it's terrible. Okay. Now back to the words. And these are now my two favorite. These are just, oh, these are just, these are great. These are so good. These are my absolute favorite. Now, when I, when I was pregnant with my first child, we needed to buy like all the baby gear um, and all the stuff, you know? So we ended up going to one of these like really big shops um, to look for, you know, children's baby furniture and a crib, you know? Um, it's totally like a normal thing you do. Of course it is. Um, but we, as we're walking around the stores and stuff and I'm seeing like how it's spelled. Okay, it doesn't, it's not spelled anything weird. L-E-D-I-K-A-N-T. But as the shop owner starts talking to me and she keeps saying, you need a lady cunt, lady cunt. And I'm thinking, I have one of those. But then I realize <laughs> she's not talking about my lady cunt. She's talking that I need to buy a lady cunt, which is a crib. Um. <laughs> Sorry. <sighs> okay. So anyway, that is a very funny word for me. <laughs> Every time I see it, it, I remember that. And the first time that I heard the word, like actually spoken out loud and how funny, like, yeah, lady cunt. That's, um, that's crib in Dutch. So, but very, very funny for me as a foreigner. Okay. This last word that I'm going to share with you, um, I heard when my son was sick. And we went to the doctor. Um, he had like a cough or something. Um, oh yeah, no, he was getting dehydrated. So they told me that he needed to have this like drink, um, you know, to help him. And they kept, <laughs> they kept saying it. And I just, <clears throat> wait, rewind. Um, what is sap in English? So sap, is something that comes out of a tree. Um, it's like, I don't know, the blood of a tree that you could say. It's like the the thick, like sticky juice that comes out of a tree. Um, so that is sap, right? In English, just that word. Um, and in Dutch, sap means juice. Um, but the doctor kept telling me that I need to buy dick sap. <laughs> be hearing this wrong because he is not telling me to give my kid dick sap like what you know and the mental images for me of dick sap and all that means is dick is thick <laughs> so it's thick juice or what that means is it's like a concentrate and then here you mix like you put a little bit of that concentrate in a glass and then you put water and then that's like juice like you deconcentrate it or whatever but the way that it's called here is yeah dick sap and for me like it was just so funny and I thought no 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 I'm not hearing this right so I asked the doctor to can you can you write that down for me because that's something that I do if I don't fully understand something and I I'm embarrassed to ask for the 12th time like can you repeat it like I'm still not getting it so I'm like you know do you mind just to write it down for me because that way then I'll I won't forget <laughs> but yeah dick sap <clears throat> it is deliciously naughty in my mind, this word. So yeah, what do you guys think? Do you agree? Could you get through this video without like being like, Yovi, girl, like, get out of there, you know? Get your mind out of the gutter. You are a grown up. You are an adult with two children and you need to not be giggling about cocks and yeah whores and dick sap <laughs> or lady cunts <laughs> or winter beans. But yeah, 
Okay, you guys, those are my five Dutch words that are just deliciously naughty in English. So please let me know what you thought. I hope this video made you laugh. I really hope you giggled a little bit with maybe with me. Um, if you are not a Dutch viewer or if you um, don't speak Dutch, I hope that this made you laugh. And if you're Dutch, I hope that now you... Um, you know why the foreigners are just like giggling away at some of these words because they are just, they are very funny. So anyway, please, you guys, if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. That way I know that you enjoyed it. Um, if you haven't yet, please do, do subscribe to my channel. It means a lot to me. Um, watching this channel grow and you know dan and i are really appreciative of every single one of you and we have big goals and big plans and that you know the fact that you guys subscribe and watch and like and comment and interact with our channel that just means that you know those goals are closer and more within reach every every time so it means so much to us we really appreciate it and we hope that you have a great day and we will see you in the next one bye The <laughs> bubble,